Welcome to this short tech talk. Today I'm joined by Nico Jäger from Aplanix. Nico, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you very much for having me here. Uh, my name is uh, Nico Jäger. I'm the product manager of POSPEC, uh, which is our post-processing software for GNSS INS data. Um, we have different variants. We have desktop software as well as cloud software. And that's what I'm responsible for. Aplanix powers our all-in-one solution, UltraNav, for direct georeferencing and flight management for our UltraCam systems. Uh, this includes mission planning and flight in-flight navigation. It includes high-precision GNSS and IMU hardware. And it includes the BOSPEC post-processing software. The advantages of UltraNav are that this is a one-stop solution. So all training, support, maintenance and licensing is provided through Excel. It offers a full integration into the UltraCam system. So that means, for example, less cables. And it also includes a lot of great features to support the UltraCams. One of these great features is PPRTX, which we also use for our own test flights. Could you please tell us more about that? Um, so PPRTX, first of all, stands for Post-Processed RTX. RTX originally is a real-time correction service from Trimble called Trimble Center Point RTX, and we basically leverage it for post-processing purposes. Um, we think that this PPRTX is really a game changer in the market because it relieves customer of providing base stations. So think about um, your remote you don't have access to any base stations, you can just leverage that type of correction data in post-processing mode. And the correction data are really available within minutes after uh, the completion of the project. And it provides you with an accuracy that is very similar to RTK or single base processing accuracy. So it's a global service. And if you run it through PASPAC, you get the corrections wherever you are on the earth. Uh, and you, uh, again, you get that high precision uh, mapping product uh, in, in PASPEC. Great, thanks. If you would like to learn more about PPRTX accuracy, Aplanix has released together with Vexel a case study comparing it to single base and smart base processing. Uh, for details, please have a look at our website or use the link which you find in the details below. One part of the ecosystem is the Camera QC tool, which recently received a major update. Could you please tell us more about that? So the Camera QC is basically a successor of our CAI-QC, which I think is pretty known in the market. Um, and basically we've done major changes really to that engine. Um, for instance, we're not only supporting media camera or a single camera head constellation, but we also support the multi-head constellation, such as for the Osprey camera. So that means the whole process runs with all the images and all camera data at the same time to basically calibrate the bore set angles. And the goal is always to get the best direct georeferencing data out of this. Um, then what we also did is we, we introduced a feature where the so-called kappa cutting and rotation can be estimated automatically in the engine. So this is, we're removing a little bit the headache from the user and we're taking full control over it. Uh, and in addition, we can also derive the uh, average ground height automatically, which is so important for the tie point matching and the success rate of the tie point matching. We have like a slim version of camera QC, which we call camera QC BSD, standing for pore sighting, where the user is not really uh, enforced to act a lot with the user interface. They just do some settings, load the images into it, and then they have like a one-click function. Mm -hmm. So it's effortless and easy to derive all the bore set angles for either the single or multi-head camera constellation. Uh, we recommend to do a bore set calibration either once a year or whenever the IMU has changed. So if there is any need for that, please reach out to our teams. There is now a new licensing called BOSPEC Complete, which was released in spring. Could you show us or could you tell us a little bit more about that, please? This is a, a new license, as you said, called PostPay Complete. And as that word complete already says, means there's something embedded that wasn't there before. So basically, we decided, also based on the voice of customer, by the way, uh, to combine our 
separated license modules into one single license that serves all of the different processing modes that we have. So that Postpay Complete license contains quasi, uh, sorry, contains um, the um, single base processing as well as smart base processing and PPRTX. So the, the key is again on PPRTX, <clears throat> which is embedded here. So customers does not need to uh, go out and uh, purchase the PPRTX subscription separately. It's simply embedded in that single license that hopefully also uh, removes the complexity of handling licensing in Postpack because customers have all the tools with that license uh, to uh, get the best out of the GNSS inertial processing. Uh, and um, yeah, that Postpack Complete license is also very attractive in terms of pricing because for customers who had purchased a perpetual and then the subscription for PPRTX, this one feels really like we removed the cost of the PPRTX service. Um, and uh, yeah, we hope this uh, finds a good uh, market response and uh, we're, we're glad to share that news today about it. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of great benefits for our customers. And uh, for sure that will be made available via Ultranav, so look out for details on that. So finally, let's talk about a topic that many of us have to deal with in some way. How does Aplanix address GPS jamming and spoofing? Yeah, of course, we're aware of that problem. We've been working on it. Uh, and when it comes to uh, uh, jamming problems, then I can tell you that we've been working on a multi-array avionics grade antenna model that basically fits the form and size factor of the legacy or standard antenna that we deliver now, which is the AV39 antenna. So that's definitely being worked on. Uh, in terms of spoofing, that affects really the GNSS navigation message um, here. And what we are leveraging is basically the RTX, sorry, the Trimble RTX network of stations where data are collected day and night. So we have a very good understanding whether uh, a navigation message um, is spoofed or not. Um, so we are running a kind of an uh, authentication algorithm on it and with the consequence that we can remove like ghost signals in real time as well as in post-processing. Thank you for these details and the valuable information. Which brings us now to the end of this talk. For further information, please reach out to us or our teams or have a look at uh, our websites. Thank you.